Hiker Jay here. This week I'm going to continue my series on technology that you can take on the go with you. Now, you may have been with me when I talked about my Surface Go and my two month in, into it impression or my GoPro 7 that I'm still testing and getting used to. I got my whole setup for that too. You can check that link out up above on the right. But now I want to talk about a really sweet piece of tech that I've been using as well, and that is the Microsoft Arc Mouse. This bad boy is so thin and so easy to take when traveling, but very responsive. The cool thing is, it breaks. Hey, before I break down the Arc for you, if this is the first time I have a channel, thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would be awesome. I'd love to have you along for the ride. I put out new videos every Thursday on outdoor gear and tech and such. Now, let's talk about this mouse. Now, when I'm working on the Surface Go, it can be a little small and feel a little small, and I, I don't mind working with the mouse. I've gotten really used to it, but I felt like I wanted something to make it a little bit quicker to edit videos and uh, also do thumbnails and such. So I really looked into it, and Microsoft has, uh, and it does have a Go mouse that's a little bigger, but I felt like it was a little bulky, a lot like the other mouses that you might get that are really, really big, and when you slide in a pocket, it's not really small. And if you know me, I like to have a like nice, small, little, kit that you can take with you so like this is the bag that all my gopro mics everything go into and then this is my surface go sits right there and then this can go right along with it too so right here i have a full video production editing system right here so i wanted a mouse that wasn't going to be super huge that i could just slide into a pocket in my briefcase and it's, it doesn't take up a lot of room so that's why i went with this one now let's just start with the features so this is the microsoft arc now there's a microsoft arc touch that actually has two more buttons in the center here this is strictly just the arc and i like this one this was perfect for me now if you're going to be doing something like this is certainly not a gaming mouse but if you're gonna be doing some 3d and such you're gonna want those buttons in the middle because the way that this one works is is that it clicks either right side or left side but you can't click the whole thing so you can't get that kind of center click going on but what I love about it is that this is all a touchpad. So you can scroll up and scroll down and scroll left and right on websites. It works really, really nice. Now when I turn it around here, you can see that there's a battery compartment. So this is not rechargeable. It does run off of um, AAAs. And it, I've been running this for about almost two months now. And it, it has not died. I use it quite a bit in meetings and of course editing my thumbnails and my videos videos i don't see myself using it as much i seem to really reach for it when i'm doing um photoshop type stuff um but so that it's not rechargeable batteries you would have to have uh triple a's if it, if it died the second part is the bluetooth connection button right here you can see i actually i don't know if it's going to show up but i have uh some pencil marks on there because it's pretty hard to get in there because when you push it you also push the like button so i don't like to do that so as to to like bluetooth it but it catches the bluetooth like super quick no problem I have used this, of course, on my Surface Go, but I've also used it on my Mac as well, and it does pair up with the Mac, um, no problem. So if it's not a Microsoft computer, it will still work with other computers as well, as long as it takes a Bluetooth mouse. Now, the coolest feature about this thing is, is how slim it is. What's awesome is you basically turn it on by arcing it, and then it's on. You can see the blue lights and such and the light on the top there, knowing that it's on. And turn it off, you flip it like that. So when it's in your bag and staying flat, you know it's not going to turn on or waste battery or anything like that. What's awesome is it flips like that. Now, I'm going to take this to the table and move you over here and set it up so you can kind of see. And I'll talk about the different features and how what I like and what I don't like. Because there is some adjustment that you have to do when you go with a mouse that is this small. Come on over. What I want to show you first is when it sets down like this, it's weird. It's a weird feel for your hand. Uh, and I have realized what I do is I just kind of hold it with my thumb and third finger, ring finger, and then I click back and forth with my right and left. And now I'm, I'm totally used to it. My hand just goes to it naturally. But at first you might find that it's a little awkward of a mouse when you per first put your hand onto it. But I've adjusted no problem. Um, now the features, of course it right clicks and left clicks. Now one of the features that I absolutely love is this pad right here is touch sensitive. So if I want to scroll down, I can just scroll down on a website or just scroll up, which is pretty sweet. It'll go left and right too, but I don't have anything left and right on the screen right now. But if it's something that's bigger than the actual screen, it will go back and forth too. And that is awesome. One thing I will say is that this is not as quick or responsive and smooth on the Mac. I don't know why. But the clicking and the moving um, about on the screen is just great on the Mac. It has it has no problem. Um, now I've also tested it like this is just a pad. I've just tested on a obviously a, a mic stand works just fine. Um, but I want to show you how it works on this junky little 
white surface. This is basically uh, plywood with a bunch of paint on it. It's been dented and everything, but it does have its corks here and there, but it really does go around no problem. Click on something, move around, and it, it doesn't have any problem on this junky white table here too. So I have tried it on a lot of different surfaces and it really doesn't have any too much trouble handling it. Now, if I'm doing some real detailed work like in Photoshop, I definitely want to have some kind of a pad underneath it and um, that will give me a little smoother surface for it to read it as it's moving along. But I've tried it on all kinds of things, even my briefcase, and I can get it to work, which is pretty sweet. Now, when it comes to the price, this isn't super cheap. It's not too bad in the price. I kind of think it's in the middle of what I was looking for. I did not want your standard like $20, $25 Bluetooth mouse that's kind of big and clunky. I loved that this was small and compact and really packable for what I want for like tech on the go. Um, but I also could have went even higher with the Microsoft Arc Touch, which actually has the um, keys right there too. But I felt like this was a nice middle of the road style one, a little thinner, a couple less things to break uh, and it'll just I feel like it'll last longer. Now, as I said in the beginning, I love that my entire studio is right here. Yes, I'll hook it up to a larger monitor or use my Mac when I'm home, but when I'm on the go and out about, this is great technology. The GoPros that I can put into the case here, I can slide the mouse in here, and then I've got the Microsoft Surface Go. All together, this is a great little package for being able to be a creator that's on the move and on the go. Hopefully you found this video useful, and if you did, if you could subscribe and like, that would be awesome. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy with some really compact, small, tight gear. And a mouse that you can break. Boom! Thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. If you're new to my channel, if you hit subscribe, that'd be awesome. I put out new videos every Thursday around outdoor gear. And if you'd like to support me, you can check out my merchandise. I have my Hike Happy shirt on here uh, at my store. You can click that down below and check out the other apparel that I have. Till next Thursday, just go ahead and watch some of my other videos.